Hi Libra, welcome to your month ahead taroscope for April 2020 with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. I am so, 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 so close to that 50,000 subscriber mark and I'm so excited to hit this milestone. It is that in fact, it's actually, uh, aside from everything that comes beyond that right it's the biggest milestone that I have uh, tried to hit since I started my channel and I can't believe it's so close um, so with that said if you know somebody that would love this channel please tell them to subscribe help me hit that milestone and uh, when I do there's going to be a massive announcement so with that said if you would like to book a personal reading with me you can do so on the website address below before we start as always I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so let's see what the month ahead has in store for you in April my dear Librans okay so for your actions and your interactions with the world at large this month you oh okay you've had a jumping card and it is the four of wands this is beautiful right in fact this is probably the card that you would hope for the most if you knew you were going to have to spend a lot of time at home the four of wands yes it represents celebration and good news all of those things but it also represents the home the castle the the four walls that we love and cherish the most the fact that you have this in your actions and interactions with the world at large this is what you do this is about you Libra providing a safe space for everybody this is about you having what is effectively an open door policy now um, obviously you know we have to be careful we have to be uh, prudent with the times that we're in and stuff so what this looks like is uh, possibly now this could be online it could be over the airways it could be um, it could be uh, a, you know an online community it could be something along the lines of uh, it's about you creating a safe space your actions is what you do the four of wands yes it's good news and celebration so you're giving those things to other people but for me the, the feeling that I really get from this is you're creating a safe space you're creating a safe space for people to come um, and for people to ultimately know that they have a connection with people, that there are people out there that care, that there are people out there that are thinking of others aside from themselves. It's one of your most beautiful traits that um, that I really don't think is highly praised enough. Like lots of people say, like, oh, Libras just want to keep everybody happy. Um, okay, there is that, the sort of people pleasing aspect. But look at the deeper, um, look at the deeper motivation beyond that to want to keep other people happy, to make people feel safe to make people feel like that you know that there's somebody that is considering their point of view that you know the way that they're living what they're feeling what a beautiful expression of what it is to be human this is about you finding good news to deliver to people maybe a lot of you are acting as an intermediary in some way shape or form this is what you do through your own you know through your own energy sun moon or rising but you've got this in your action so you're being very proactive this month it may very well be that your home in some way shape or form is called upon maybe it's that you are uh, maybe it's that you're doing you know maybe you're going to become the matriarch or the patriarch of the family maybe everybody's just going to say you know what if we're on lockdown we're all congregating together it's going to be at your place there's something about this that says to me that this month you're going to be presented with the choice to open up your life to open up your maybe your inner doors you know the door to your mind the door to your heart to, to share those things with other people this is a gorgeous energy for you guys and it's a really nice way to kick off your reading for your money and materials you have the world card right now this is interesting to me because uh, the world card represents the planet Saturn right it has very much to do with those uh, bigger sort of lessons that we learn the, the bigger and broader ones now the feeling that I get from this if I'm completely honest with you 
uh, whether this is your savings, whether it's the money that you have, maybe it's money that you have access to, maybe it's grants, maybe it's funding. For some of you, you could be setting up some form of a school or some sort of a uh, college, maybe something. And for a lot of you, if you're thinking about setting up something that is going to benefit a lot of people, the money that you need from a government, from a local authority is absolutely there for you. Uh, the other thing with the world card, right, it's about mastery. It's about stepping up. Up. It's about uh, achieving something of a bigger goal. For a lot of you, I just kind of feel like the prudence that you've exercised in previous months or previous years, uh, this is going to see you kind of looking and saying, wow, you know what? I didn't know that the, you know, that the world was going to go the way that it was, but actually I have everything that I need. And even more so, there's a surplus. This is about you looking at your finances, your money, your resources, maybe even your home, and realizing that you have not only enough for yourself to sustain you but you have enough to go around now this isn't saying you know just go willy-nilly and start giving everything away to everybody uh, what it's saying is that for those that you, you that you want to extend something to the money the finances the resources all of it it's there for you you have enough to go around which is beautiful um, you know and it looks like you're doing that now in terms of a monetary sort of aspect a lot of you are looking at the moment of how to flip your script, how to change what you do. Uh, this month could very well present you with an opportunity to take some sort of uh, elevated step, maybe to step forward. So this could be like a promotion or maybe giving being given a lot more responsibility, especially those of you that work in and around housing, social housing, all of that sort of stuff, very favoured for you. For your communications and conversations, you have the King of Pentacles right next to the world card. I mean, whatever you're applying for, whether this is a job, whether it's funding, whether it's grants, whether it's loans, whatever you're applying for this month, you have access to it. You have the good news coming in as well, but this is about you being proactive. So it's not like you're just kind of sat there like, mm, you know, at some point I'm sure somebody's gonna step in to help or save me. This is about you saying, no, you know what, I'm gonna do that myself. And once I'm there, I'm gonna bring other people up with me. I'm gonna elevate others. Your uh, communications and conversations with your King of Pentacles, this is uh, would be an earth sign person. You're talking about a Taurus, a Capricorn or a Virgo very likely to be a Capricorn because it falls right next to the world card world card Saturn you know Saturn Capricorn um, so you and this person very often whenever you see the King of Pentacles this is somebody that has already achieved they're very well established when it comes to the material level when it comes to the professional level sitting next to the world card this is an older person this would very likely be somebody that's a ceo uh, sometimes on a really ground sort of level uh, because it falls next to the world card this can be a grandparent it can be a, a parent who happens to be older uh, somebody that's more mature somebody that's more wise there's a lot of conversation going back and forth between you in this person and I actually feel like a lot of you are looking at consolidating your monies consolidating your funds maybe this is something that you are you know maybe you're leading the the way on you know what it, we're all just going to buy a giant piece of land uh, and we're going to do what we can to live on that there's something here that's it feels like you're pulling people together it might just be your own personal unit and you know and their families and, and there's nothing wrong with that at all it just feels like there's a conglomeration energy sort of taking place here i kind of feel like you're thinking more with a group mentality do you know what i mean and you're pulling this together it does look like though you're communicating with either bosses uh, people in authority, people that are, you know, people that are well established. Maybe you're, uh, for a lot of you, you could be setting up some sort of a charity. Uh, this could have, this could have to do with or centre around older persons or older people. Um, but I really see you guys leading the march on this, which is really intriguing to me because I'm not getting this as like just for a few Libras. This is like the whole Libran energy. So I'm kind of like, okay, where is this going? What's gonna come up? For your love and relations, you have the two of cups. I mean, so far I have to say, you guys have the best month. Uh, for those of you that are single, you are meeting somebody that is, 
you know, somebody that's very well established in and of themselves, somebody that is possibly a philanthropist or an entrepreneur of some sort. This is a, a really great connection. And I gotta be honest with you, I feel like the connection will start out as professional. So you'll go into it sort of with one mindset and then something else develops from this. So as you kind of come together, it's like, yeah, you know, we're working on a project together. It's all about the work. And then slowly but surely over time, there are gonna be feelings that develop. This is gonna be a very interesting month for you guys. Um, and I feel like this, I mean, the world is gonna remember April 2020 for a long time to come. But I feel like for you guys, this is gonna be a very pivotal month. For those of you that are partnered, this is about you and your partner, right? Look at this. So you're thinking about the money, you're thinking about the, the money, the finances, how to move those things, how to create more of them. But this is, again, it's about consolidation. How do we take what we have and turn it into more? And are we going to be able to, you know, and it looks like you will, um, but are we going to be able to generate enough in order to open that up? There's a lot of really great connections coming in here, Libra, and I actually feel like this month you're going to get a lot of the recognition that you deserve all right so for your weeks of the month let's have a look see what is going on sorry my i'm gonna flip that over because it's distracting me all right for your first week of the month you've got the star card there's definitely a familial group family sort of tie there's something here where you are a lot of you this is about creating an online community whether that's by a subscription service whether it is uh, you know something that you just that you do on youtube uh, something here and it centers around homes uh, around your living place, around your dwelling. Um, maybe it is, you know, tips on how to do this, that, and the other, but there's definitely something online starting here. And it has a very broad mass appeal, um, which is fantastic. I mean, this is lovely. The star card is a big glimpse into the future. And for those of you at this moment in time that are worried about your homes, the star card coupled with the, the four of wands, you've got no worries. Your home is safe, your home is secure, you've got no worries, you're not gonna be turfed out in any way, shape or form, all right? Um, so great news on that front. For your second week of the month, you've got the Tower card, right? So this is an interruption. This is about the wider world uh, events. Over the course of April, uh, I know that just because when you've been doing Tower long enough, you know what is for people and you know what is just an interruption. It, it's weird, I can't explain it. As soon as I turned this card over and I knew the world card was there, everything in me has just literally said to me, this isn't about them, this is about the wider world stage. We are going to see uh, more of a meltdown when it comes to the financial world. We are going to see a, a bit more of a tumultuous time over the course of April, um, but this is a lot of the stuff that is crumbling now is so that something else can be built built much better and stronger in its stead. Now, interestingly enough, this doesn't impact you personally, it impacts the world. What it tells me as well is there's gonna be something taking place with the technology and the finances. So, and I don't know whether it's, you know, like when so many people go on a single website, the, web, the website crashes. It's kind of like that. And I feel like this is gonna happen on the wider world stage, but it's gonna have something to do with the finances. Maybe uh, one of the servers goes down and it wipes out all of who owes what. Um, I don't know, right? But it definitely feels like there's gonna be something going on with the technology. Um, as an example, you know, with the stock market, they all look at those funky boards. Well, what happens one day if there's a glitch in the system and all of that is wiped off? Do you know what I mean? I feel like there's gonna be something like that and it's gonna be almost like across the board. Um, interesting times, very, very interesting times. The second week of April is the one to watch out for. Uh, so probably from, let's say the 6th or the 7th of April onwards, for the third week of the month, you've got the sun card. This is fantastic. There's something here 
uh, and there's a big step forward for you guys. I can't, I mean, it's almost like I, just, I can't put my finger on exactly what it is, but there's a big step forward. There's a big elevation. And it's kind of like there's this feeling that you're just recognized for all of the hard work that you've already put in. And it now starts to pay off. There's this big realization of, you know what, that's the person that we need in this position. Because up until now, even without accolades or anything like that, they have shown up consistently. Your consistency is going to be rewarded this month. I really believe that. Um, for your sun card underneath the king of pentacles, this is highlighting that there is somebody coming into your world, somebody that is either very wealthy, somebody that um, is very likely older, maybe a person in a position of authority. In some way, shape or form, this person is helping you get ahead when it comes to your profession, when it comes to your work life, when it comes to this big idea that you're having. Uh, there's a double hit of this sort of technological online community energy going on. The Sun card adds life, light and blessings to everything that it touches. So look at this, right? It's right next to the Tower card. So this kind of says that whatever this, this is that takes place on the wider world stage it may either be temporary or it might be something that can be kind of reversed kind of like a you know like when a plane goes Vroom, and then it goes back up and everyone's like ah. <laughs> um you know not me i just kind of see it as you know as part of what it is but um yeah it could be one of those moments but your sun card is telling me that you are absolutely fine and it's it also tells me that whatever connections you're forging this month they are ones that can be trusted they're ones that you know that are are um on point and above board, let's say. Then you've got the judgment card right underneath the two of cups. Um, interestingly enough, this person, for those of you that are single, this person may very well be somebody that you already know. Maybe somebody that you've previously worked with on a project uh, and they come back into your world, they come back into your orbit in some way, shape or form to work on something else. And then all of a sudden you find yourself developing feelings for each other. Maybe you even had an inkling that there was something between you, but then the project ended or you were promoted or they were sent to a different department and you never thought about it again. Um, it looks like there's a do over when it comes to a relationship that almost was. Uh, whoever your personal one that got away was, this person's coming back into your life this month. Um, for those of you that are already partnered, this is just such a gorgeous energy because it's about you and your partner getting back to what I would call the honeymoon phase, right? This is about you guys saying, you know what? Yes, let's consolidate everything that we've got. Let's think about the best way forward. But also, let's get back to those times where, you, you, and I'll give you an example. You know, with some couples, when they start out as couples, there's not a lot of money, you know, they live in like this tiny little cooped place and everything. And although it's not pleasant at the time when you think, oh, you know, I wish this experience was different. When you're further along the path of your relationship, you look back on those times and you laugh about it together because you're like, oh my gosh, do you remember when we lived in that place where the toilet and the bathroom were so close that if you were in the toilet you <laughs> and you sneezed, did you know what I mean? You could hear it in the bedroom and just things like that. You know, the, the things that at the time feel really sort of like, Ugh, uh, those are the things that we come to laugh about in the later years of our relationship, you know, the, the, or the moments where, oh, do you remember the time we had that, you know, when we were in the car and we got lost at such and such? There really feels like you're getting back to, but because you're having, you know, the honeymoon period, it's, you laugh about it. Do you know what I mean? Whereas, and it, it just kind of feels like you're returning to the, the better stages of your, of your relationship, if that makes sense. So for your key to the month, you have the magician card. This is going to be a powerful month for you guys. I actually feel like you're probably one of the signs so far that are going to traverse this energy you know better than most i have to say um your magician card it also look at this you've got the, the sun card the magician card and the king of pentacles uh, and then you've got the tower the magician and the world and this line here is telling me that in some way shape or form you are being elevated you're being pushed upward or up through the scales or up over the ladder this one here tells me that on the wider world stage there is about to be something that will be rewritten and it will be something big um in terms of the technology stuff as well it does look like um 
it might be something that they try to kind of say to us like, oh, it's not that bad. Uh, and then, you know, obviously over time it comes out and it's actually not in it. It's actually worse than we thought, but it looks like it could potentially be rewritten. Um, it looks like it could potentially be, uh, you know, kind of like it will dip, but then it will come back up. Um, with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you. Take care and I'll see you soon.